everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to us today for QT. Let's go ahead and read the scripture together, okay? We're on day 25, Sunday the 25th of October, and we're reading Jeremiah 51, 15 through 24. I use my power to make the earth. I use my wisdom to set the world in place. When I thunder, the waters of the heavens roar. I make clouds rise from one end of the earth to the other. I send lightning with the rain. I bring out the wind from my storerooms. No one has any sense. No one knows anything. Everyone who works with gold is put to shame by his wooden gods. His metal gods are fakes. They are worthless. When I judge them, they will be destroyed. But I, the God of Jacob, am not like them. I give my people everything they need. I can do this because I made everything, including Israel. They are the people who belong to me. Babylon, you are my weapon for battle. I use you to destroy nations. Judah, I will pay Babylon back. I will pay them back for all the wrong things they have done in Zion, announces the Lord. Okay, amen. So, when we first read this, what's something that really sticks out to you? Is there like a word or a feeling? Um, to me, the word power really sticks out, especially God's power. If you read it here in the very first part, he says that he made the earth. He used his wisdom to set the world in place. He makes the thunder. He makes the water in the heavens roar. He has wind out from his storerooms. Like he could just like whoosh, just grab some wind and be like, Hoo -hoo, and the wind just like whoosh, just rushes out. I mean, God is so powerful. He can do all of these things. You know, it makes me think about like outside the water outside and the river and the trees and the air, all of that, that was created by God, right? Do you always think of that? Whenever you see the leaves changing color or um, when you feel the wind rush around you, do you automatically think of God? Is that your first thought? I don't know, sometimes I think of other things. What do you think about? Do you know what season we're in right now? We're in fall, that's right. And what happens during fall? Yeah, we see a lot of things changing in nature, but there's other things too, right? Like Guguma is coming. They're like already at the convenience stores right now and, and soon like hot up and like those little like fish cake things. They're so good, right? They're coming out too. Oh, fall has so many wonderful things that come. But do you always think about God? The first thing when you think about a changing season or something in nature? Oh, sometimes I think about the things that just make me happy, right? It's automatic. Sometimes, I mean, we like to be happy, right? But it's so important to remember that God is the one who created all those things. And he created us and all of our likes and dislikes, all the things that make us special and unique. But when we get so focused on just the things that make us happy, so focused on the things that, that we want to think about, that becomes like a form of idol worship. And that's what was going on here in this story. There were fake gods all over the place, metal gods, wooden gods, things that are like nothing compared to our true God, our God of Jacob, right? And that's another thing right here. It says that when God judges them, everything else is gonna be destroyed because he is not like them. He is the true God. And it says right here, I give my people everything they need. And I can do this because I made everything and everyone. So let's think about that. When we think about our God, the God who made the whole universe and everything in it, we also remember that he also provides for us too, right? The clothes that we wear, the food that we eat, our families who love us, God provides everything. He provided for his people, Israel, he provides for us too. So if there's one thing I really want you guys to remember, it's that God is so powerful and he provides. And he is better than any other, other God, any other thing that makes us happy in this world. God is just amazing because he made you and he made me. And he loves you guys so, so much, okay? So let's go ahead and go before the Lord in prayer, all right? Dear God, thank you so much for creating us. And thank you, God, for just providing for us so much. 
God, we thank you that you've provided the ultimate gift, the best gift we could ever have, which is your son who died for us so we could have eternal life with you, God. And Lord, I just pray that everyone who's watching today can just remember how great and wonderful you are, how powerful you are, and how you provide for us, God. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Bye, everyone. See you next time.